Welcome Amakosi Network, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be chatting about Aziski and we're going to be chatting about Usim Pierre Shabalala and what he said about KZ Chiefs. But before we get into that, please like, comment and subscribe and please, please, please continue to subscribe and join the channel. Let's jump to Aziski. First one, Aziski has been hitting, Aziski is a free agent in June. So a lot of people are chatting about him, especially Sundowns and Pirates or front runners. What is my opinion? If there's a team that I think that should get him, it should be um, Pirates. Because I feel like Sundowns are just too many foreign players. So I don't know why they, what, what benefit it would be to Aziski to go and be a foreign player at Sundowns and then possibly sit bench. And then on, on top of that, if you, if he can't make the squad, possibly get sent out on loan to University of Pretoria. And yeah, your career basically ends like that. Or maybe if you like his Super Sport United. So probably uh, um, Orlando Pirates. But a lot of you, as Kaiser Chiefs supporters, you guys actually want Aziski. And for that, I am going to make an, a statement and a statement that, that I want you to, people to understand that. If you are wrong, you must come out and say that you are wrong. That is one thing I'm going to stand by. If you are wrong, you must come out and say you are wrong. And I am going to say this. I was wrong about Aziski's stats. Right? I was wrong about Aziski's stats. Why is that? I got his stats from Transfer Market. And his stats on Transfer Market said he had like 91 games and he had 11 goals and about 3 assists. That is what Transfer Market said. But Transfer Market doesn't really follow the Tanzanian league. So they didn't give a full scope of what he, his contribution actually is. Right now, Aziski is the top goal scorer of the Tanzanian league. Apparently, he has 14 goals and he's on red hot form. So a lot of people are loving what he does. So a lot of you, I know, we're going to come back and be like, yeah, we are papa, we are papa, son, we are papa. And I'll say this, guys, you know, sometimes we will be wrong. I got a place... Um, a well I got his information from a well-respected platform, which is Transfer Market, which is a place where we often get our best um, research on players. And they didn't update their stats on Aziski and the Tanzanian League. So unfortunately, that is the problem there. Meaning that now you guys know that I have to now go and dig deeper and find a more, a better platform to find stats on players. Because as we can see that the Transfer Market doesn't... Um, basically track all leagues so i'll definitely do that i'll find the better place so in that i want to apologize for giving the transfer market stats because it wasn't complete and i didn't know i honestly thought it was complete and that is the case there but what has my opinion really changed on him i would say now it's it's slightly towards because now i've seen that he actually is scoring goals and he actually is assisting more. I am slightly more for him now than I was before, meaning that I'm changing my opinion. Not to say, not to say that I did I also watched the game against Santos and I saw that he was the best player from the, the younger team. But my thing is that I don't like this thing where the best player is only the best player in one game. Then you look at the rest of his stats and he's nowhere to be found. He's not scoring goals, etc. And ex another example of that is that player who's also at younger is the boy Umakurubel. Umakurubela always shined against Chiefs. But against other teams, he was nowhere to be found. He was always like, yo, this Makurubela can dribble. This Makurubela is a star. But he only shined against Chiefs. He would score one goal against Chiefs or have one good performance against Chiefs. And Dwaja, he's no longer there. Another player who had the same exact problem is Otladisa. Otladisa always made sure that when he plays Chiefs, he beats us Chiefs. But when he plays other teams, there's no Otladisa to be found. And that is my problem. Sometimes when a player plays one good game and then we want to rate him on that one good game. But now that he's showing good, he actually scores goals and he actually does assist. I am more for him than I was before. And you know what? If you're wrong, you're wrong. You must come out and say it. You mustn't be a hypocrite and say, Hey, 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 Mina, I don't want him. Hey, Baba, if he actually is scoring 14 goals and apparently even last season he scored over 10 goals, etc. Then for me, that's what I want. I want someone who can put the ball in the back of the net and who can honestly contribute and not this thing of someone does who has one good game and then the rest of the season 
nix, nix. And then that's the Aziski story. Now let's jump to the Simpia Shabalala. Simpia Shabalala basically went on, I think it was Marawa Sports, and he basically said, Kaiser Chiefs has good players. That's what he said. He believes Kaiser Chiefs has good players, but the players are not a team. Fun fact about that is that one of the comments that was mentioned to Simpia Shabalala on X slash Twitter is that they asked him, Guti, Simpia Shabalala, but this thing of senior teams opening affection or whatever, 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 started with you, Nabo Kune, Nabo Parker, etc. And Simpia Shabalala replied to that person and said, no, Baba. It, um, he's like, I respect your opinion, but if you're going to come out and say these things, please come out with facts and don't spread, don't mislead people because you're. It's basically lies. That's what the Simpia Shabala said. He says he he absolutely disagrees with that. So let me start with this. To him disagreeing, I'll say that you know sometimes when you are in when you are in a a group a, a popular group, you often don't see what your popular group does to the rest of the people. For example, we've all watched those high school movies where there's um, a popular kid and the, his friends often bully the kids and he's just part of it because he's part of the popular group. Then he gets to know that kid who he, his group is bullying and then he was like, hey man, I'm sorry, you know, we we're just having fun and the, the kid who's getting bullied, he was like, ha, huh, having fun. It wasn't fun for me when I was crying at home every day. And that is basically what I feel like Simpia Shabalala is going through in this story. Simpia Shabalala was part of the popular group, the group that got away with stuff. I am not saying it's a fact. I'm saying it. What this is what it looked like from the outside. Obviously, he's giving us perspective from the inside. From the outside, it looked like he was part of the popular group that just got away with stuff. And then when... Um, that when people started identifying with there's something wrong, like there seems to be little clicks in Chiefs, then he basically denied it. But from the outside, we could hear, and then obviously there were rumors that, hey, there's a factions growing within Chiefs. And that's the thing. When you're inside a popular group, sometimes you can't see the things you are doing and how you are affecting the other team members. Because if I'm not in the popular group and I'm playing in the team, maybe the popular group has more of a say on who is in the starting lineup. Maybe the popular group will pass each other in practice and the coach will be like, these guys are a good combination. And they won't pass me because I'm not part of their group. So that's what tends to happen. And then to... Uh, Simpia Shabala's comment of good players, etc. To, I want to say this, we have a way better squad than we had last year, but it's not good enough to compete with Sundowns and Pirates. We have to be honest about that. But when Simpia Shabala said, we, the Chiefs are good players, but the thing is, the issue is that they are not a team. That point right there is the point I agree with. Chiefs is definitely not a team. And it has nothing to do with the players. It has something to do with the technical team and the coaching staff. The coaching staff make a team, a team basically. Let's, let's go to the best example out there in the world right now. Bayern Leverkusen. They had never won a title in their life. They had never tasted a, a league title in their life. And they were on the back of... Um, Bayern Munich having won like 11 league titles. But then Xavi comes in and makes these guys a proper team with the same exact players because apparently Xavi got this team last season when they were like almost in the relegation zone. And by the end of the season, he got the team to end number six. This season, they win the league. What is the difference between those, those two moments? One moment, the team has a relegation. The moment they finish number six this year, they win the title. What is the difference? Coaching. Xavi Alonso came in and made a difference and made um, Bayern Leverkusen a, a team of note. He made them play better football. He made them recruit the right players. He made the team work. And that is what's missing at Chiefs. Chiefs is... What it's missing, it's missing a leader from the coaching perspective and the technical team to make our team better. Because if Chiefs had the right coach right now, there is no reason why Chiefs would not be number two. When I say number two, it's going on the fact that San, uh, Pirates is not um, playing well on in the league and Stellenbosch hasn't even picked up 
enough points i would say i feel like number two should already be on 50 points right now number two should be already on 50 points chasing with um sundown somewhere around around there so that's why i wanted to say tell me what you think i'm a network tell me what you think